Okay, so we had a little mishap with the camera. That being my prospecting partner left it back at the truck. So we didn't have a camera to film, but we brought back some samples. These are from Canyon where we found a couple massive sulfide deposits, float boulders, and you can find a little bit of gold in there. So we got a bunch of samples that we pulled off, a small little showing, and uh, we're gonna just basically show you the samples in this video before we send them out. Okay, so basically what we have is about a hundred pieces of uh, high grade ore, gold, silver, copper, and a little bit of lead, zinc. I'm just gonna run through all of them and uh, try not to make this video half an hour long. So basically you got a hunk here of calcopyrite. This is from a pod of massive sulfides. A little bit of uh, quartz in the mix that was intruding that is mineralized. We got a sample or two that have uh, quartz with pyrite in them. So right here you can see the oxidization, your blue iridescent color. This is just a solid hunk of calcopyrite. Here you got a lesser amount. Uh, you can definitely see the, the copper in there. Malachite azurite staining. Again, more calcopyrite. Some of these are a little wet, so they're hard to see. Here you have a lens of magnetite cutting through your calcopyrite. This is magnetic right here. Here you got a example of your pyrite with uh, your quartz. Actually looks more like quartz carbonate. Bit of calcopyrite in there, but primarily it's pyrite. Another solid piece. So you can see the difference between this sample here and this sample here. So calcopyrite, when it oxidizes, it oxidizes to an iridescent color, so something like a purple, blue tarnish, often a bit of green, like that piece right there, or it can oxidize to a darker color. So this is a freshly broken piece right here, so it's a slightly different hue. And we got a lot of uh, smaller samples here. So some of these, you can see how smooth they are. These were on the outside. You can see this light blue, iridescent blue. So all around some decent samples. We took as much as we could carry out of the canyon, but it's pretty rough getting in and out. So we're limited. Those are all for the smaller ones. Now let's take a look here. Got a few bigger samples. Again, more your quartz carbonate. Oxidized mineral. So assuming these are similar grade to the other ones we've pulled out and tested, you're going to be looking at around 20% copper. 
and up to several hundred grams of silver per ton and uh, about 30 grams per ton is the max we've uh, pulled maybe a bit more for uh, gold There a little bit more quartz carbonate. So these are very, very nice looking. And they also uh, assay very well, so always a bonus. Again, perfect example of your oxidization. You can definitely tell the different color this is calcopyrite as well a little bit more brassy color So some of these samples look like they have uh, little tiny garnets in there, or garnets as some people say. Definitely looks like it. So we're going to catalog all these. We'll post an assay result for just one sample. We're going to probably take a few of these hunks and send them in for testing. That way we kind of get an average of the pod and not just one chunk. We'll post that assay result at the end of this video. And a few more garnets. Got a few more samples here. Little sphalerite in there too. And you got your magnetite, of course. A few more garnets in there. And you got a bit of pyrite, calcopyrite there. And one last small sample. So 
So that's it. That's all the samples we collected. We'll have to show you guys when we go back to the canyon. The uh, small little showing. But for now, I hope you guys enjoyed the video.